Hi, this is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop uh, with a new uh, piece of shop equipment. This is a Johnson Model J 10 by 18 bandsaw, meaning you can do a 10 inch round or 18 inch plate in it. It currently has a 110 motor on it, so that's handy. The original uh, coolant pump is gone and just has this electric pump wired in combination with the switch down there which I'm probably going to redo that and it's got these uh this kind of switch where you push it in and it stays and this one pops it out I'm not a big fan of those switches so I will uh probably modify that in the future it doesn't have an automatic shutoff switch and I may try to hook hook something up like that it's in pretty good shape it's got a obviously it needs a paint job it's got the quick acting vise you flip this guy back it pulls this pin up like that you push it in you push that the other way, it engages with the Acme screw. And then the uh, hand wheel there tightens it. It's missing one of the sheet metal covers, but that is actually fairly common for what I see on these. There's a counterweight there. It's got four speed pulleys. And there's the tension spring it's missing the uh hydraulic cylinder for the down feed which lived right here so that's not a big deal um i may look for one but we'll see i go ahead and i'll crank it up for you here Let's see. Not too bad. As you probably saw there, it has a bent blade. The uh, guy gave me a couple brand new Linux blades for it, so that's cool. Rigged up the coolant pump to this little valve here this pinched off part sprays around the blade the uh, brushes are missing so I'll probably see blades going this way I'll go behind here somewhere or yeah over there and I'll install some blade brushes that really helps with the uh, lifespan of the blades <coughs> fairly uh it's heavy uh someone put these uh pieces of channel on there with casters which is super handy it's actually not too bad to roll around he loaded it onto a trailer with a the pack forks on this tractor and me and a buddy rolled it down the ramps of his trailer and it was it was manageable this is the uh, replacement for my super cheap Harbor Freight. Oh, what are they? 7x10 bandsaws. Those cheap little $200 ones. So this will be a nice addition. I have it lined up with the door. So I keep a lot of my stock in that shed back there. So longer pieces. I mean, I can move this around with the wheels. But I can open the door and put stuff in here. And I have a... Uh, stand I can put up out there so that'll facilitate cutting longer pieces so yeah I paid $300 for it which I felt was fair I've been looking for one of these for a while um, very happy with it I'll I'll probably clean it up and paint it Cleaning stuff up and painting it is not my favorite thing to do in the world. It's like 
the worst part of restorations for me is the stripping of paint and then the repainting. So, but I'll definitely go through, change out the blade, check out all the rollers, you know, mechanically. Mechanically, it's good. He put a piece of a three inch round in it and it cut it okay. It, it took a while, but it cut through it with that, uh, Bent blade, of course. It wasn't the straightest cut ever. So, that'll obviously be the first thing we do. So, yeah. That is the Johnson Model J 10x18 horizontal bandsaw. That will get a lot of use in my shop. This is Adam from Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.